For this video, I want to talk about PECS, the Picture Exchange Communication System. So for PECS, basically it's a little binder with um, pictures and words on them of different things that the client may want or need, um, depending on their level. So for this video I created, since I don't actually have PECS, I made little post-it notes with juice, popcorn, and hot dogs. So um, I'm, I guess, pretending that we're at lunch and my client is going to be requesting for food that they want. Um, PAX uses multiple phases. So, you know, in the first phase, you might just have one um, picture out. So I have one post-it and that's it on the board. And you would just require the um, individual to just come to you, give you the one picture, and then you give them the popcorn. So I have a popcorn picture by itself on the binder. I want the popcorn, so I'm going to pick it up, give it to my therapist, and the therapist is going to give the client popcorn. Um, after the client has mastered that, being able to just pick up the one picture on the board by itself, knowing that's what that means, you add a second one, so you add maybe juice, something they haven't actually worked on requesting for. Um, add that on there. So I have, I'm not sure if you can see, but popcorn and juice on the board. And you start by um, only giving them the one thing. So they don't really know what juice is yet. You just focus on the popcorn. So um, you have popcorn out and you let them choose a picture. So Okay, I chose popcorn, so you give them popcorn. If they choose juice, because they maybe weren't scanning appropriately or they um, maybe weren't super motivated or they're just kind of looking around and not paying attention, you would um, put the picture back, flip the board over and restart and say, you know, popcorn, and then maybe show them popcorn and then have them try again. Um, PEX goes up in multiple phases, so as the client gets better at it, you start to add more pictures, you start to mix them around, they start to know which e what each one means, and then they're able to request for what they want, and then eventually they have this binder full of different pictures Velcroed in that they can flip through. So I have a client who uses PEX and um, a speech device, and he started with PEX before using the speech device, and now um, if you know, maybe the device isn't charged or something. He uses his PEX book where he has multiple pages that he just flips through and he puts it on um, the front of it and then gives it to me, whatever he wants, popcorn, juice, iPad, um, whatever it might be. So it's very useful for kiddos who are lower functioning on the spectrum. Um, those who are more on the Asperger side, um, the higher functioning, they, are able to, you know, they they don't lack those expressive language skills as much as the younger ones do. Maybe not younger, the lower functioning um, kiddos. So um, those that just don't have a functional communication system at all would really benefit from PEX. Um, the lower functioning individuals that lack expressive language skills would really benefit from PEX. Um, because it gives them the opportunity to ask for what they want um, in a way that more people can understand. So, for example, sign language is beneficial as well, but it's not always known um, by everyone. While pecs, anybody can look at a picture and read words or see what the picture is to decipher what the kid wants. So, yeah, um, there's pecs, and I think it's really important to use um, and a lot of kiddos, but every kiddo is different and everyone needs a certain way um, to communicate and PEX might not be for everybody, but it's definitely a beneficial one to use for most.